Hey everyone, it's Base Junkie transmitting from Hamburg, Germany, back with a new video and back with a new taste test. As kind of announced in the video I uploaded a few days before, but this time I'm not gonna go into chocolate, but I found something else and something I never heard of, which I just like saw by chance in the supermarket I've been at, and what I've been talking about is this stuff. Sealandberg ginger and lime flavor and what it is actually is birch sap or birch water as it is called. I had to look up the translation for that and basically it's the stuff, the water that the, the birch trees pump from their roots into the tree up, in the, up into the tree right before they like start to develop their leaves again in early spring and then what happens there is that the all the minerals and stuff and all the like tree vitamins or whatever are like pumped up into the the leaves and branches so the the tree has like proper energy and proper stuff to build all the leaves and like start to start growing again and I had no clue that uh, people were like getting this fluid, this water with the with mineral stuff and uh, directly out of the trees and drinking that. I had never heard of that and I have looked up a little bit on that and it seems to be healthy but uh, that's not the reason uh, reason I bought it. It's definitely not one of the reasons I bought it is that it's vegan and that it's bio because usually I'm not a big fan of vegan stuff because I love my like meat and stuff so actually when something is vegetarian or vegan and it's like promoted on the packaging I stay away from that just for the reason that it is vegan or vegetarian because well I love my dairy products and stuff and I don't like the attitude of many of the people living this lifestyle that like whenever you are like eating dairy or eating meat then you're evil and you go to hell and whatever so I'm not supporting that lifestyle at all but this birch sap, birch water sounded interesting and I had never tasted that and I thought, well, give it a try and this bottle which is like 330 milliliters cost me like 1 euro 99 I guess and I'm pretty curious. I have read that this stuff tastes a little sweet but I have no idea so we're gonna go into that flavor is like lime and ginger so maybe the the tree flavor is not coming into play that much I don't have any clue and you can definitely smell smell ginger more than you can smell lime and I don't have any idea how birch smells but I do remember right now this very morning that I'm allergic to birch pollen so that's where my hay fever comes from these days well I hope that there is no things allergens in there that's gonna kill me right now immediately on this video mm. hola this is this is this is really strange Mm. Mm. This is this weird. It's like thicker than water is. Like uh, when you well put a lot of sugar in water, and you have a, the texture of the water like if the sugar has dissolved the texture of the water becomes like different and that's similar to this you get a well strong taste of of lime mm. a very I can 
I can feel the, the inside of my mouth like 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 well what your face does when you bite into like a like a slice of lemon and stuff like mm, that kind of stuff is happening inside of my mouth and then when when I swallow it there's some strange taste appearing here um, ginger surprisingly doesn't come into play that much but there's some other flavor which might be the the birch thing mm. Mm. this is I don't I don't have any description for that it tastes old old and bland maybe there is a distinctive taste that is something I have never tasted before and I don't have even any words in German for for this but I'm definitely convinced that it's not good it is it is really weird mm. it's not refreshing at all and well my verdict is don't maybe I should like try that birch sap directly from tap like when it's coming directly from the tree because I've read that um, the the original stuff that's coming from the tree is like only be drinkable for like two or three days and then it becomes bad and I don't know if it's moldy but um, so that you cannot like transport that and like uh, store that somewhere at like normal room temperature you have to freeze it and like put it in the in the fridge usually but there has been some company who has developed some additives to to preserve that stuff from from getting bad like and unhealthy but in this case it sounded it sounded weird at all but i definitely cannot recommend drinking this in terms of taste it sh might have like a good effect on your on your health and stuff but taste wise this is a total fail i don't know what kind of people are like wanting to taste thick sugary bland stale is stale a word i don't i have to look that up Stale is yeah stale. Stale is a exactly that word for abgestanden in German, which means that you've been leaving water or anything else in a bottle for for a long time and come back to that after a few days, and then the taste is gone. And it's just like bleh, moldy and and old and stuff. And this is exactly what the Sealand Berg thing is tasting like so this taste test is a failure and i've been drinking this for scientific reasons and not because some uh, the company has sent me this but i am a curious guy and the birch that is involved here is the, the botanical name is betula pendula which is uh, with a white outside i don't know if you can see that here the, the calorie level is pretty low which means it's 66 calories in that whole bottle yeah which means 20 calories per like 100 milliliter which is nothing and there is a a note here that the color of this liquid can change when you don't store that correctly, so you're recommended to store this um, in the dark, so in the fridge or, or somewhere and where it's cool. <laughs> Something that changes color in daylight is um, suspect. 
kind of and it's like awkward and no I'm not a fan I'm, I'm gonna drink that just to try to get myself used to that but mm. hold up no this is this is not good at all so taste test done taste buds ruined and um, I think I will need some some chocolate or other food just to, to wash that uh, taste down so this is definitely not what I recommend you to drink so no birch step for anyone um, we're gonna go into sodas for the next taste test maybe or into energy drinks or whatever so I am out and I hope to see you in the next video leave me a thumbs up subscribe like follow me on social media and leave me your thoughts in the comments everything you've heard that before and i'm gonna see you in the next one see you later